I just stole this insane world record that seems impossible to beat in one of the most popular levels in Mario Maker. This took 4 hours of grinding. The level looks like this. You may be thinking, well that's just a linear speedrun stage. There's no way you can optimize this world record, right? Well, no. This level is in the Super Mario Bros. 3 game style, where the core mechanic for speedrunning in general is this thing called P-Speed. You build it up by running on the ground, and you'll get P-Speed, which is also the fastest speed possible. Which is what makes this speedrun so difficult. Because this means you have to leave the ground at the last frame, and enter the new ground at the first frame. Just so you can build up P-Speed faster. It's also needed here, here, and here. If I fail to stick to the optimal ground landing for P-Speed, I need to restart the whole level. There's a few small optimizations, like jumping here to bounce off the spring more optimally, jumping off the seesaw at the last frame because you go faster there, as well as jumping before the seesaw to avoid pivoting it the other way at all, sliding down the slopes right before the icicle because you lose P-Speed by sliding, jumping right on the shell sends you up slightly earlier, throwing the pout immediately gives you more time to get P-Speed, doing an incredibly optimal jump here for a hole-in-one to avoid bonking on this ice block saves a few frames, Suing all these in a single run is so precise. But the hardest part has yet to come. Despite this being seemingly linear, there's actually a major shortcut here that saves a second. You need to press jump here for a faster twister, then press it slightly again and turn back to quickly lose momentum as the ground is too icy. Do two corner boosts while you jump up at the perfect height as you lose time if you jump too high, and be ready to instantly throw the power after grabbing it. This entire motion killed more than half of my attempts. It was incredibly devastating to see that I've gotten so close so many times and still not as fast as the world record. But after 4 hours, this happened. Thanks for watching this video, it's kind of an experiment with Mario Maker content. If you want to see me do 3 extra secret world records on popular levels, click here.